Cold and flu season is officially upon us, which in my house means it's time to whip up a big batch of homemade chicken soup. Now, when you've come down with a cold, few foods are quite as comforting, and it's actually more than just psychological. Studies suggest that chicken soup can reduce the symptoms associated with a cold and improve the flow of nasal mucus. And if that doesn't make you hungry, I don't know what will. Speaking of colds, once you're done watching this tasty video, be sure to check out the brand new exclusive videos I created with healthy essentials from Johnson & Johnson family of consumer companies. I'm sharing my absolute must-haves for surviving a winter cold, and lots of great tips and tricks for making the most of the season. Now let's get to our classic chicken soup recipe, approved of course by Dr. Mom. I believe that all great chicken soup starts with the same three ingredients, onion, carrots, and celery. All I'm going to do is chop up these yummy vegetables, and then I'm going to heat up some oil in my Dutch oven, you could also do this in a soup pot if you wanted to, and add these yummy veggies. I'm going to put the lid on and let them sweat for between four and five minutes, or until they start to soften up. There is a lot of flavor happening, and I'm not gonna pretend it does not smell amazing in here. Next. I'm adding some minced garlic. Onions and garlic have lots of amazing health properties, so you wanna load up on them if you're sick. I'm going to heat my garlic up for about a minute, and then it's time to add my chicken. Now in this recipe, I'm actually using a whole chicken, but you could definitely do this with chicken pieces as well if you wanted to. All we're going to do is fill the pot up with some water, season it with some fresh thyme, salt, and pepper, and then bring the mixture to a boil. Salt is critical here. We're making a big batch of this yumminess. Don't be afraid. Once it's reached a boil, we're going to put on our lid, reduce our heat to medium low, and let this yumminess simmer away for about two hours. Things are looking promising in this pot. Our chicken is cooked through, so it's time to pull it apart. And of course, it is falling off the bone, which is a good thing because it makes retrieving the chicken so effortless. I actually discard the skin and the bones because we've already removed all the delicious flavor from them. Look at all the gorgeous chicken that has come from that beautiful bird. I'm gonna add it all back in. This is gonna have a ton of gorgeous texture. Next, we're going to get to work on our starch. In this case, I'm making chicken noodle soup, but you could also do this with some rice or some potatoes. Both would work just as well. The important thing is to cook your starch before adding it into your soup pot, because what you don't want is for it to absorb the liquid that you've worked so hard to flavor. For my noodles, I'm actually going to cook them in some chicken broth, but you could definitely cook them with water instead. Once the noodles are cooked, we're going to stir everything together and this beautiful soup is ready to serve. It can be refrigerated for three or four days or frozen for up to six months. This is the perfect recipe to make a big batch of and then freeze the leftovers for the next time you or a family member are feeling under the weather. I hope you'll give this tasty recipe a try and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And don't forget to head over to healthyessentials.ca to see the exclusive videos I created to help you make the most of the winter season. All of the details are in the description box below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.